I lived in Syria until 2011, so mainly 23 years. I didn't have the right to vote in Syria, so the voting in the UFA referendum was the first time in my life. I heard about it when my friends started to talk about it, and then I received an email a couple of days later, and they told me, you can vote, whatever you want. I said, but I'm not sure, I'm not Dutch. They said, okay, it doesn't matter. I mean, like, as long as you're working at the university, you have the right to vote. I don't know if it's a duty or it's a right. So I was confused for a week, almost, reading about it. Like, is it a duty or a right? It feels like somebody cares about you. Somebody wants you to be exist. Somebody cares about your existence in life. So it's not about, like, you are doing all the obligations and you're not getting any of your rights back. I'm here at the UFA, I'm doing my obligations, I'm doing my research, but at the same time, people are giving me some rights, which is like, kind of nice. I chose the, the thing that is most popular among the students and among the young generation. Something like, like decentralizing the UFA or something. Because I think like when people they suffer from centralizing the powers and the administration is something, so it means like why don't we try something new? And then if we fail, then we can have another referendum, then we can see what new solution is it. I'm, I'm half Palestinian, half Syrian. My father is Palestinian refugee in Syria and my mother is Syrian. And the Syrian woman is not allowed to give a citizenship to her kids and that's why I stayed as a status person in Syria. I was obliged to do military service in Syria. I was obliged to do everything similar to Syrian citizens, but at the same time, I'm not allowed to get Syrian passport or to vote in the presidential or parliamentary elections. It's something you can born with. I mean, like, you have, like, two eyes and two ears and one nose and one mouth. I mean, that's it. I mean, like, people, they were born with the right to vote, with the right to have a passport, with, a, with being a citizen of some country. For me, I was born with two eyes, two ears, one nose, one mouth, but I have no right to vote and I have no passport. It's part of it. They're every, the everyday life and they would feel different without it. But for me, I would feel the difference with it.